After years and years of hardcore revolutionary development, iPhones finally, finally got the ability to move apps anywhere across the home screen. You could move apps to the top, you could move apps to the bottom. It was beautiful, revolutionary. But Samsung was like, who more when you are? So One UI 7 recently arrived and now this is here. This is Good Lock 2025 and trust me when I say that this will blow you away. This brings many cool customization options for Samsung phones that you've never seen before. This is Rupesh, you're watching Silicon. Subscribe for the love of Android and if you're an iPhone fan, just take a seat or something because things are going to get tough. <laughs> So this is the new Good Lock 2025 update and as you can see Good Lock has gone through a big change. It's got these new animations at the start, there's a new GIF at the top saying grand opening for One UI 7 and the whole UI is revamped. You now get different tabs like notice progress tips right at the top. Then there's all the plugins aka the modules in a single page with tabs for different categories at the top and you get a new U page where you can put all your favorite modules. Now that's not all. All the modules have also been updated with the new modern UI in line with One UI 7. And there's even two new widgets for Good Lock. There's mini cassette which features four favorite modules and another widget which is more of a folder. Look, all that is cool, but I know what you're here for. All the hype has been around the home up module which brings a new DIY home screen which is just batch crazy. See, in the home of module, in the home screen settings, you'll find this new DIY home screen option. Just turn it on and ya yeah, go crazy. See, now when you press hold on the home screen, you get this new DIY home option. Just tap this and you have ultimate control. This lets you freely move items on the home screen so you can move icons anywhere. And this is not iPhone Wala anywhere, literally anywhere. You can rotate them however you want. You can do the same with widgets. In fact, you can even overlap things. Put an icon on top of a widget, put a widget on top of a widget, however you want it. It's all fair game. And that's not all. You can even remove this dog, the favorites bar from below using this option so that you even have more space to put more icons and widgets anywhere. I also like this sort of control bar here. So when you rotate something or make anything bigger, these two options automatically activate, letting you reset the size and reset the rotation. You can even select multiple things on the home screen and use this option to align things however you want. We're still not done. You even have an option to add stickers to your home screen. You have blank shapes, marker stickers, emoji stickers, pre-made number and alphabet stickers. You can even write your own text as a sticker and it's crazy customizable. For example, you can choose the font of the text, format it in bold, italics, align it however you want increase the size, set the transparency, the color, everything is customizable. So I remember when Goodlock 2024 arrived, I said it was peak customization, but this is just on another level. Moving on, as we all know, One UI 7 goes big on animations. I mean, it's not as great as Oxygen OS 15's animations, but it's a big improvement over One UI 6. And the good news is this Home Up module lets you customize the animations completely. I mean, you get this new gesture settings in the Home Up module, and this is brand new. It wasn't present before. And inside this, the coolest feature is Home Gesture Animation Tuning. Now, as you can see, you can choose the animation you want. This is classic, which is, well, classic. This is elegance for all the elegant people. This is dynamic, which is faster and more bouncy. Sweet is for anyone who really loves animations. Slow, all nice. You can also use simple tuning and check if you want your animations really fast or you want it emotionally, nicely, softly, you know. Yeah, that's a bit too much control. There's even advanced tuning, which is absolutely crazy. You can literally customize the icon's movement and just see the amount of control there is. You can select how fast the icon shrinks down. You can make it faster, add more vibrations to the icon. You can set the tracking position at the icon for the animation to follow it. You can customize the wallpaper animation when going to the home screen, add blur effects. You can customize the animation of icons and widgets when you go to the home screen. Yeah, this level of control over animations is insane, but really cool. You also get new folder customizations in the Good Log update. For example, you can select the size of the pop-up folders. There's small, there's medium, and there's large. Or you can set it to dynamically set the size depending on the number of icons. You can also set it to open from the center always. You can hide the edit bar in folders, remove the blur. They are pretty handy options. One UI 7 also brought enlarged folders and you can customize that too with Home Up. You can increase the size of large folders. You can change the grid size of the folder and you can even increase or decrease the icon size. 
Now, if you are someone who uses the Edge panel in One UI, Home Up brings a couple of handy options for that too. See, this option lets you see all the apps you've selected for the Edge panel at once instead of you having to scroll for it. The second option is great too. So you have the option to see recently opened up apps in the Edge panel, but you can only see a few of them. This option makes sure you can scroll and see more and open them quickly. Now I know Home Up has been getting all the attention for kind of the crazy features it brings, but there's more updates to more modules in Good Lock 2025. To give you an idea, Theme Park now lets you change any folder icon to a picture from your gallery. You can even set a sticker as the icon. You can edit the shape of the icon, color of the icon, and the icon tray. Camera Assistant now lets you save videos directly to external storage connected with USB-C, and works with most camera modes. There's a lot more coming later too. As you can see, Game Booster Plus, you'll be able to force apps to show up as games. You'll be able to remap gamepad keys and play with GPU related settings like texture quality, rotation optimization, anti-aliasing, etc. Pentastic will not bring Bluetooth back to the S Pen RIP, but at least it will let you change the air command icon. An updated lock start is also coming and it's supposed to bring cool lock screen customization options. So yeah, looking forward to that too. Says so more is coming, but the highlight is clearly the new customizations that Homer brings. I mean, these features are what make Android fun. And I really hope that other makers take note of this because maybe these are not very useful, but they're super fun super cool and they make Android exciting. Now do note that this good lock 2025 update is still in beta and this will be coming in stable form to One UI 7 running Samsung phones and if you have a phone running One UI 7 beta you can try it out. I will leave the links to all the APKs in the description down below so check them out and yeah do try the DIY home screen I know you'll go crazy and comment below your experience with the new good lock 2025 update and if you like this video make sure to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one.